okay? You press yourself all the way up into plank. Four, three, two, one. Lower down. Four, three, two, one. Now, there are two variations to doing this. Notice that when I do it, my body stays completely flat. I'm not doing this. So if you can't stay completely flat, I want you to do this one on your knees. Four, three, two, one. Four, three, two, one. If you're needing more of a challenge, don't let your belly touch the floor the whole time. Hover, four, three, two, one, four, three, two, hold, and keep working into it. Those are your choices. Make your way down onto your stomach. We're going in three, two, and one. Press up, two, three, one. Press down either all the way to the floor or hover. All the way up. All the way back down. Keep working through that as slowly as you can. Woo! And I really encourage you to try that hover off the floor. Whether you're on your knees or not, give it a shot. See how it feels. Yes. Last five, four, three, two, and one. Resting however you want. You can just hang out on the floor or you can pull your butt back to your heels. All right, we've got two more sets. Starting on the floor, we're going in three, two, one. Pressing up, two, three, four, down, two, three, Four, up, two, three, four, down, two, three, four. Keep going. See if you can hover. And my secret to doing these is keeping my core so engaged the whole time. It helps with that hip dipping and it helps the muscles of my chest and my shoulders. Good. Last six. Five, check those hips. Four, three, two, and rest. All right, we've got one more set. If you'd like an extra challenge, see if you can go up for six, down for six, and I'll start us off with that count, okay? So everyone make your way onto your stomach. We're going in three, two, one, up, two, three, four, five, six, down, two, three, four, five, six. Nice. And if you're doing a full six count, you're only going to have a few reps of these. And that's what we want. Ooh, I like it. I like it. Half done. Amazing. Keep going. Last round for the upper body. And then we'll swap out our bands and have the question of the day. Last six, five, four, three, two, and rest. Nice. Everyone come on up. Shrug the shoulders out. The form was looking great. All right, go ahead and grab a sip of water, take off your bands. We are not doing cardio today. We're going pure strength and let's swap out our arm bands for our leg bands. The question of the day. Hmm. Let's see. Oh, I know, I have one. Do you have any siblings? And if so, where do you fall in your lineup of siblings? We've asked a lot of other get to know you questions. I like this one. <laughs> All right, swapping out armbands to leg bands. Sophia and Sydney, we know, know your answers. <laughs> Steve says he's the oldest of three. He has two younger sisters. Cool. 
some people say that you can learn a lot from where someone falls in their sibling lineup. Uh, I hesitate to say where I fall in my sibling lineup, but um, I'm an only child, so take, <laughs> take that for what you will. All right, swapping out those bands. And now my bands actually do match what I'm wearing, see? So there we go. For half of our workout, I'm doing okay. <laughs> Quentin says, youngest with two older sisters. Diane says, she's third of four. And Mary says, she's second oldest of six. Wow. We are so diverse when it comes to siblings. We all like doing outdoor stuff, though. George is an only. I knew it. I knew it. <laughs> all right. Jim says, three sisters. I am second. Nice lineup. All right, leg bands are on. We're doing, aside from our first two exercises, we have a series of squats and lunges. So not super technical stuff. Very challenging stuff though. If you our first exercise, we are doing our heel lift. My challenge to you, keep your heels off the ground the whole time and see if you can start with your heels at the very tip top and then work down and up back into that point. So instead of like focusing on this full range, only working at the point where your muscles are the most contracted. So on that note, if you need to take one finger to a wall or a chair, just one finger, I'm okay with that. Okay, because we're not working on balance today. We're really focused on firing up those calves. So I'm standing here with my heels up. Won't you join me? 40 seconds. Heels lifted. Here we go. Little baby down, all the way up. Maybe make it slower. And lift. Down and up. Good. Keep working through it. And you can't see this because you can only see my profile, but my feet are parallel. Try not to let them open up into a V shape. We really want to focus on only the back portion of our calves today. Ooh, it's going to feel a little bit wobbly. That's okay. Nice. Good. Last 10. Get those heels up even higher for your last bit of work. Good. Seven. Six. Five. Four, three, two, and one. Lower down slowly. Maybe give the toes a wiggle. All right, that looks good. Cycles are going. Lower body's going. Second set. Heels off the floor. We're going in four, three, two, let's go. Maybe down half an inch. Contract. Down and up. And I've got a finger on the wall because I'm not above losing my balance sometimes. Woo! Helps me fire up my calves even more. Down. All the way up. Baby lower. Big old lift. Or maybe you want to work into it slowly. Woo! Great. Half done. Second of third set. Nice. Last 10. Give me five, four, three, two, and rest. All right. One more set. Then we're going to do some hamstring curls, and then we'll work into our squats and lunges. Third set. Step the feet parallel and hip distance apart. Start with the heels fully elevated. 40 seconds. Here we go. Whichever variation you're doing, whether small range of motion or bigger, try and take it slow. Ooh. Those muscles are firing. I can feel it. Great. Half done. And if you are not a big fan of cardio, today is your day. Yeah. Last 10 seconds, see if you can get your heels up to the very tip top. Work into it. Give me seven, six, five, four, three, 
to and rest. Things are starting to work. All right, so we've worked into the calf. Let's cruise on up the legs to our hamstring. Now, two options for your hamstring curl. If you want a slightly easier variation, keeping your knees in line with each other, hands to hips, or you can take a hand to a wall or a chair. I don't care. Start in 90 degrees. Keeping that 90 degree angle, go up, pause there, up, stop there. If you can't get your leg in a degree that's smaller than 90, that's okay. It just means your hamstrings can use a little bit of strengthening work. So doing your best, 90, smaller, 90, smaller. If you want a more challenging option, come down onto the left knee and work into this space. Okay, we were doing some of this on Friday, but more for opening up this quad than strengthening this hamstring. All right, so we're working the left leg. I'm gonna double up my mat. 40 seconds, three, two, one. Work into it. Make it harder, smaller range of motion. Down, two, up, two. Down, two, up, Two, keep it going. Good. Remember, find to hang on to something here. I'd rather you hang on to something and get the good form of your knees in line with each other or down on one knee than be wobbling around and losing your form. Great. Last 10. Nice job. Good. Six. Five, four, three, two, and rest. Go ahead and pull your right foot into 90, or if you're on the ground, swap it out. 40 seconds, three, two, one. Up, two, down, two. Up, two, down, two. Maybe slower, maybe smaller. Ooh, I actually like being down on one knee a bit more. For me, I feel I'm more balanced because I have this front foot here, but it does make it more challenging because my leg has to be at 90 degrees or smaller. Awesome, down, two, up, two, down, two. Last eight seconds, grow taller from the top of your head. Keep the spine straight, five, four, three, two, Rest. Let's work into the first side, second set. Because this hamstring got a break while the other one was moving, we're going to jump right into it. 40 seconds in three, two, one. Up, two, down, two. Up, two, down, two. Whichever variation you're doing, you're working and get, you're working at getting the heel closer and closer the whole time. Nice, Lily. Good, ah, oh. strong work all around. Last 10, then we're gonna go right into the right side. Good. We have seven, six, five, four, three, two, and switch. Working into the right leg in three, two, one, here we go. Up, two, down, two. Up, two, down, two. Good. And if you're doing the standing one, making sure that you're not bending forward and that your knee is not starting to project forward. So we wanna keep the knees in line. Down, two. Hamstrings should be on fire. Great. Last 10, then we have one more set. We're gonna go right into the other leg. In five, four, three, two, and one. Good, final one. Go nice and tall. Woo, final set. In three, two, one. Here we go. Up, two, down, two, up. Two, 
down two. Great. After this, we're going to give our hamstrings a well-deserved break and work even higher up the back of our legs into our glutes. Also getting into the quads with some squats. Keep going as much as you can. Last set. I know, things are burning. Good. Last five, four, three, two, and one. It looks like everyone's doing their right leg. Did I botch a set? <laughs> All right, final one. We're going in four, three, two, and and one, up, two, down, two. No, I see everyone's getting into it. Okay, keep going, keep going. Go ahead. Nice, looks good. Last set. Good. Awesome, last 10 seconds, this is it. Give me seven, six, five, four, three, two, and rest. I just saw a couple people doing a different leg, but some people were on a different side. Good job, everyone. Quick hamstring stretch. Take a forward fold, pedal out the leg. That is a lot. A lot, a lot, a lot of hamstring curls. Let's give our poor hamstrings a break. All right, next exercise. The rule of 80 degrees. We drop down into our squat, not 80 degrees, 80%. We drop 80% down and come 80% up. So you keep the knees bent the whole time. We're going down 80% up 80%. So 80% of whatever your lowest capability is and whatever fully straight would be. So at no point are we locking out our legs. We're going down, pausing at the top, down, and never letting our legs straighten, okay? 40 seconds, we're going in three, two, and one. Here we go. And just like the rest of our exercises, I want you to try and move slowly and shorten that range the whole time. We've got three sets. Good. Little down, little up. Great. Good. Last 15 seconds. Good, last five, four, three, two, and one. Straighten out those legs, move the hips around, release. Good, opposite direction. We're going again, take a bend into the knees, drop into it, in three, two, one. Here we go, 80% up. 80% down, 80% up, 80% down. Keep going. Making sure that our weight is in our heels the whole time and I'm shifting my butt back behind me so that I can keep my spine straight and I don't get slouchy. And I like to keep my toes off the ground when I do these to remind myself to keep my weight in the heels. So every now and then you'll see me pop my toes up. Good. Last seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Allow the legs to straighten. We have one more set, then we'll work into our lunges. So today's a lot slower pace than normal. We're not jumping around like crazy, but we're building some serious strength. And remember, you can adjust your cycle at any time, harder or easier, depending on what your body's feeling. All right, final set. Bend the knees, let's do it. 
coming up, little down. And I keep my hands together for stability. If it feels better to have them at your hips, together, whatever feels right, work into that space. Good, see if you can get even lower, maybe working even slower. Yes, half done. Woo, it should burn. Your quads and your glutes should be talking to you. They're tired, last 10. Give me five, four, three, two, and one. All the way up. All right, sip of water all around. Okay. We ready? We ready to keep going? I think we can do it. I know we can do it. Okay. So now we've given love to our calves, our hamstrings, our glutes, our quads. We are missing our hips. We have curtsy lunge knee drop. So I step my left foot over to the right, keeping the bend in the back knee the whole time. So it's not a normal lunge. My leg is not behind me. It's over to the side. Try not to let the back knee straighten. Down and up. Down and up. Make it harder, stay lower, okay? Whatever you're doing, try not to let that leg lock out. First set, step the left foot over to the right. We're going in four, three, two. Bend the back knee, little bit up all the way down, a little bit up, all the way down, keep it up. These are hard, squeeze through your hips, squeeze through your core to stay stable, nice, Clinton. good. Don't let that back knee straighten. Things are shaking, things are burning. That's what we want. Yeah. Awesome. Last 15 seconds. Get even lower, stay with it. Even if you have to straighten out that leg, do it. Drop right back into it. Give me five, four, three, two, and switch. Step the right foot over to the left. Bend that back knee, drop it down. We're going in three, two, one. Little lift, all the way down. Little up all the way down. If it feels wobbly, you can take a hand to a wall. That's okay. These are probably muscles you need to strengthen if it's hard to stay upright when doing them. Woo, good job Instagram and great job Zoom. <laughs> keep going, keep going. Last 10. Yes, Diane, amazing. Go Jim. Great George. Five, four, three, two, and one. All right, we've got two more sets. Again, stepping left foot across the body to the right. We're going again in four, three, two, and one. Drop your back knee down, work into that space. Little up, little down, little up. Little down. And if this is the hardest exercise to do for you today, that's okay. Just be aware of that, observe that, and take it as an opportunity to learn where you have enough more area to grow. Woo, I love it. Have done. Mm -hmm. Good. Last 10 seconds. Make sure that front knee isn't going too crazy. Keep it pulled in. Use your hips. Five, four, Three, two, and one. Second half of our second side. Bend into the back knee, drop it down, 40 seconds. Here we go. And notice that this knee isn't going too crazy. I'm containing through this whole area of the body to keep it drawn in. Nice. <laughs> Good, I see some folks with a hand on the wall. That's fine. Don't stop. 
last 10 seconds. And we've got one more side. Ooh, there we go. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Come on up, quick rest. Mentally and physically preparing for our last set. All right, let's do it. Find your left leg. Step it over to the right. Bend that back knee, get low. Three, two, one. This is it. Final set of these. We are way more than halfway done with our lower body work. Good. Keep it squeezing like heck. Keep that front knee stable. Don't let that back leg straighten. You can do it. I'm right here with you. Half done. Yes, we are tired. Yes, we want to stop, but we're not going to because this is the last one of these on this side. Last 10. Get even lower. Bring it home. Five, four, three, two, and switch. Last, last set. All right. Bend that back knee. We're going in three, two, and one. Last half. 40 seconds. You can do it. Maybe your legs feel like lead. Maybe they're so heavy. We will take a quick stretch after this before we do our last, yes, I said it, last exercise of the day. 16 seconds. And now we're down to 13 seconds. This is it. Keep going. Get even lower. Yes. Good. Five, four, three, two, and rest. Everyone come up. Grab some water. Take a moment. All right. Is anybody tired? No? Ready to do like 20 burpees? Kidding. That's not what we're doing. All right. So, last exercise for the lower body of the day, our sumo squats. So, we did our regular squats with the feet slightly angled out into a V and slightly wider than hip distance. Now we're going full V, toes all the way out, knees pointing out, and you're gonna work into this space at the bottom. There is a reason why we're doing these, and that's because a lot of what normal people do, or what most people do, not normal people, all people, in exercises is they work the front and the backs of their legs, and we don't give a lot of love to the sides and the inner parts. So by doing a sumo squat, we're able to work those muscles in external rotation of the legs, so giving a little bit more love to the sides. So, same rule, 80%. Do not let your legs straighten. I believe in you. You've made it this far. You can do it now. Bend into the knees. Get your butt down. 40 seconds. In three, two, one. Little lift, little lower. Little lift, little lower. If you want to make it harder, make the movement slower and smaller. Keep going. Keeping your spine straight the whole time, pressing the knees open. So don't let your knees flop in. Mm -hmm. I know, things are gonna cramp. It's like, ah, oh, what the heck is happening? You got it. Last 10. This is it for our lower body work. This is our last exercise. Five, four, three, two, and rise. Two more sets. Woo. Wiggle it out. All right. We're going again. Bend those knees. Make sure they're not flopping inward. That's not doing our body any justice. Get low. Four, three, two. Little lift, little lower. Little lift, little lower. If you want it harder, take your hands behind your head. But as soon as, as, soon as you start slouching, I'm going to call you on it. Yes. Great, Diane. Nice, Jim. Everyone, press your knees out half an inch, outer edges of the knees. That's it. That's the step. Second set. 
Go, Lily, go, yes. We're trying so hard not to straighten those legs and we're doing it, last 10. Even lower, 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 pulse at the very bottom, five, four, three, two, and rest. All right, last set of the day, toes out. Take a big breath. Whew. All right. Bend the knees. Get really low. 40 seconds. Go. Up. Down. Up. Down. I don't care if you're this low or if you're this low. As long as those knees stay bent, you are actively contracting your muscles the whole time. Keep going. Great. Zoom looks good. Keep the chest up. Nice straight spine. Awesome. Get lower, last 10. Make it worth it. Monday, coming in hot. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Straighten out those legs. Big lean over to the side. Big lean over to the other side. Good. Take your right hand to your right leg. Take your left hand to your right leg. Bend into it. Drop down. Come back up through center. Switch sides. Come back up through center. Let's do one core exercise and then we are done. I will always make us do some semblance of core because it's crucial for supporting the rest of our body. Our core work today is a seated clock. We're only going to do two sets because fortunately for you guys, clocks only move two directions. Well, they really only move one direction, but for the sake of going counterclockwise, we'll counter this too. So with my butt rooted into the floor, chest up, I extend my legs up, I go all the way down, up and around. Goal, keep the spine straight. Get the legs as high as you can. We're starting to the right. 40 seconds. Three, two, one. Work through that. Going clockwise. Clocks move two directions. Good. Who am I? What is happening? Nice. Maybe move slower. Get the legs up even higher, half done. Good, making sure that your spine is not rounding out, using your hands to keep pressing up. Last 10. Five, four, three, two, and rest. Take a spine stretch, press your chest up. And let's move our legs around the other way. Extend them up, 40 seconds to the left, counterclockwise. Good, keep moving. Woo, last bit of work of the day. Nice. Your spine's gonna say, hey, we really want to relax and slouch. You gotta say, no, lift up, sit up straighter, taller. Uh, all right, last 10. This is it, get those legs up even higher, you can do it. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Take the hamstring stretch, definitely well deserved. And let yourself hang and fold. Let the forehead drop down towards the thighs. Shoulders are heavy. And roll on up to sit and make your way up to stand. Now we use our wall for a couple of, ex couple of exercises today. You can also have the option of using the wall for one of your stretches. Take your left foot, grab it, pull it back, get into the quad. Now, once you're here, I wanna to continue to pull my knee back as I 
press my hips forward. So shortening the line between my belly button and chin. All right. Let's switch it up. Grab the right foot, pull it back, knee back, hips forward. Keep squeezing the glutes, protecting the low back. And then making sure the knees aren't doing this, pull them together. And release it. Last stretch, step the feet wide. Both arms up, hands over to the right, fold forward. As you roll back up to stand, both arms up, over to the left, drop into it. And as you come up, both arms up, bring your hands together, give yourself a big round. Monday Strength Day, you did it. Nice work. I will see everyone tomorrow. Good job. Drink water, and if you feel sore, take an Epsom salt bath. Thank you. Thank you. Give me more next time. Bye, guys.